everybody. So today we're going to check out Jungle Juice by 450 North Brewing Company. Uh, on the side of this, this does say Slushy XL. Looking this up on Untapped, it does look like they have a standard Jungle Juice than the Slushy XL. Uh, on the side, uh, smoothie style sour ale with passion fruit, coconut, mango, kiwi, and pineapple. No dates on this. Uh, I did just pull this out of the fridge. Uh, I picked this up at Hoffman Street Grocery. This one, I believe it was $6.50, $6.69, something like that. So let's go ahead and get it into the glass. So far of the slushy variants, if you want to call them that, uh, I've had three different ones. Uh, all those were $9.99 a piece. So uh, ABV, 5.3, so that is the same as the other ones. Um, heads dissipating quickly. It is a fruited sour, so I think you are going to see that. Some of the other, say, smoothie style, like uh, the smooge, the seltzer smoothie, smoothies, usually that head's big. I think it's from the coconut and banana. Um, but it, it's dissipated. It's gone. Uh, color, orange, <clears throat> like a dirty orange, uh, pineapple. You guys are seeing it lighter, more orange pineapple. Uh, it looks dirtier here. Uh, and I already can't remember. I know it had mango. Yeah, pineapple. Uh, yeah, mango, orange, pineapple, dark pineapple color. Uh, you can't see through that thing at all. Let's go ahead and smell. I get that passion fruit, maybe a touch of coconut, the sweetness from the mango and the pineapple. I think that pineapple sticks out a little bit more than like the mango <clears throat> does. But it does have that smoothie smell. And by that, I'm uh, the smooges. Um, it does have that coconut uh, fruitiness, pineapple smell, just like I would get in those. But that passion fruit, I, I think it's because of the fruit. Usually I say passion fruit comes across as like a stinky foot. Uh, but this is a little tamed. But you can still tell that that passion fruit's in there, that passion fruit, coconut, uh, pineapple. Let's go ahead and try it. That sourness is there. Uh, you get the passion fruit, you get the mango. Uh, a little pineapple, but I think the mango passion fruit really comes through in this one. Um, I really don't get the coconut. Maybe in the aftertaste as the palate warms up, it's like that mango, coconut, passion fruit, pineapple does come out a little bit, but that sourness does go through the whole entire palate and stays on the aftertaste. It's not as thick as I thought it was gonna be. I was thinking it was going to be just a little thicker, but it, is it fine? Yes. Yeah, it's definitely, if you take a, a standard just sour ale, bump it up a little bit. It's not, I would say this body is not medium. If you compared it to some of the other ones that I've had uh, from 450 North, I would say this is, its not, I don't want to say it's watery, but it is on the watery side compared to those. So what am I missing? Kiwi. I really don't get the kiwi. I think that kiwi would be hard to come out through all those other ones. But if you're a pineapple, passion fruit, mango fan, uh, definitely one to pick up and try. Uh, on this one, I would go 4.25 out of five. I think it's good. I would like to see more of that coconut come out, um, but I am a pineapple fan, so that's fine. Uh, and I think for the price, it's good for the price. We have to remember this is using real fruit. 
uh, so the price is going to be a little bit more. So six fifty, um, I think, is okay. Would I buy a four pack? I think the four pack was twenty four ninety nine or something. Um, I probably wouldn't. I, I, I don't think, I think just drinking one I would be fine with. Nothing I would want to go back and keep drinking. Let's check on tap real quick, see what everybody's saying. Um, so, uh, three of my friends have had it, average 4.25. A little over a thousand people have rated it 4.29. Uh, tropical fruits and coconut. Uh, when was that? I don't know. It doesn't show. So style guidelines, pineapple, passion fruit, citrus, sweet, coconut. I don't think this is overly sweet, but I can kind of see that. There is some sweetness in there, but I guess my brain's going to, they're using real fruit. You're going to get that. It doesn't seem like they added more sweetness. If anything, maybe lactose should have been added to bring maybe bring out some of that vanilla coconut in there but that's just me um let's see if anybody so jeff m gave it a four uh passion fruit pineapple and kiwi uh is what he said uh he said what so he's saying it was eight dollars and it was four percent i wonder if he's just off because my can um doesn't have that and that was uh 2022 which we're in uh about a month ago so my guess is yeah so eight dollars these must be all over the place uh i could see people or, or bars or uh, beer stores trying to push these for higher <clears throat> prices but yeah if you can find it around six eight bucks i i i'm just drinking it to do the review and to try it. If I wasn't doing reviews, would I have picked one up? I would have picked one up, not four up. So yeah, definitely one to check out and try to try if you're into beers like this. If you enjoyed this review, check out some more over here. And until next time, cheers.